That is a really, really lovely piece of coning. So straight, it's beautiful. It's rush hour in Cheshire, and PC Chris Swash is with a broken down vehicle on a busy dual carriageway. We can't wait for two hours. No, It'll well. cause utter bedlam. Can we limp it up the road 600 yeah. yards? I'll, I'll give it a go. <laughs> We just tried to start the car. We got blown away, literally, in smoke. Put that down to the nose. With eight million dash cams in our vehicles, we can reveal Britain's worst driving offenders. From total mayhem to absolute madness. We join Cheshire's motorway cops as they fight to keep our roads safe. We capture the action. We've got one casualty who's potentially serious. I just can't believe I've done that to my car. I'm PC Doran from Cheshire Police. Oh no, you see that again, bro? You see it when I told you to see it, bro. That's the positive cannabis already. Are you smoke weed? We do. God loves to try ya. Have you ever passed a driving test anywhere? Driving test. Oh no. Helping them in their battle with idiots behind the wheel is dash cam. It's vital evidence. You haven't got dash cam, have you? And proof that Britain's dumbest drivers are a law unto themselves. Oh my god! Tonight, it's cops and robbers on the M6. Hey, hands now. Hey, hands now. Do not move your hands. Do not move your hands. A head-on collision leaves two cars wrecked and a driver trapped. Glad it's trapped and has gone head-on with this vehicle. He's currently getting cut out. And one motorway cop swaps the open road for the mean streets of Chester. Do you smash my face in the You can't let you go because you're going to have a fight with everybody. So when you start eating, you never know how long you've got. So you end up rushing it, just so you get to eat it. With breakfast under his belt, PC Andy Doran has an important job to do before he can leave the station. Get it washed up. There's no mum here. Part of being team, isn't it? Same at home. I don't always cook, but I'll always wash up and clear up. Nice and warm now. Gorgeous. Cheshire Police, how can I help? Can I report an incident, please? He was sort of theft in our shop, and when I challenged the guy outside, he told me to go back in the store, he was going to stab me. I'm checking the CCTV, they've had over a thousand pounds worth of stock from the store. So I've got the registration plate and everything. He's literally just left now. He's driving there, Silver Seat Leon. Said radio information of a vehicle that has travelled from the south this morning. It's come up the M6 and it's committed offences of theft. They're estimating values of a thousand pounds, and I anticipate it's going to come back down south. So I'm just going to get myself in a position. Hotel Uniform 81. I'm static junction 18 on the onslip just to see if it comes this way. Yeah, he's just hit the camera. Yeah, we see. Andy is just seven miles away from the suspect vehicle. He's just hit another camera now. 
The car has changed direction, with reports that one of the suspects may be armed with a knife. Andy needs to catch up with the vehicle fast. Eight one, just doing a U-turn at Arkley Lights to go back to 17. Hey mate, is there any other patrol going in to stop? Yeah, I'm just going through 16 now, still no sight of it. I'm still going to go further through to 15. Robbers on the run will do anything to escape the police. Three men ram raid this shop in Kent, causing £35,000 worth of damage. In four frantic minutes, they steal over £1,500 worth of goods before making a quick getaway. That's until Kent police catch up with the trio, speeding the wrong way round a roundabout. The vehicle is wrong side of the roundabout, it's taken the third exit. As officers close in on the car, the driver stops and reverses, smashing into the police vehicle. The vehicle has rammed us. The thieves hit the gas again, this time heading down a dual carriageway, the wrong way again. The is approaching at speed, oncoming vehicles, wrong side of Cliff Highway. Before ditching their wheels and disappearing on foot. Half an hour later, officers track down one of the thieves, hiding in the woods. All three men were eventually arrested. The driver was found guilty of burglary and dangerous driving and was jailed for three years and eight months. He was disqualified from driving for three and a half years. His accomplices were also found guilty of burglary and sentenced to three years and four months and two years and eight months in prison. Still no sight of it. I'm still going to go further through to 15. Back on the M6, PC Andy Doran is hunting down a gang of thieves on the run from a shop robbery. I don't really want my lights on at the moment. 70 miles from the scene of the crime, another patrol from Staffordshire Police has eyes on the target vehicle, but they need Andy to catch up to help bring the suspect car to a stop. I tell you, Uniform 8 one, half a mile behind you. It's up there. It's up there, it's They say one good turn deserves another. But not when it comes to Britain's roads. <laughs> It's not even subtle, is it? Drivers like this aren't doing anyone any favours. All because they like to put themselves first. Maybe it's not there. Back on the M6, PC Andy Doran is chasing a silver Seat Leon, believed to contain a gang of thieves and a stash of stolen goods. Mike Alpha, so Uniform 81, I'm lane two, not far behind the marked vehicle. I want to get me behind this BMW. Andy is joining two other police patrol cars, hoping to bring the suspect car to an immediate stop. I swear it's going to happen if it's going to happen. We've got to be in a position ready to go. Stand by, stand by. Force him off, get alongside him. Get... I'll get the rear. Stand by, second Thank you. 
Hey, hands now. Hey, hands. No, do not hands move out. your hands. Get your do hands not out. move your hands. Get in. Get one to the back. Just pass her out. Take that hey. away. Step out. Stay with us for a little second while we sort everything out. Okay, okay. Should we get English? There's tons of uh, batteries there. Oh, there we go. Just let you know we've got this Seat Leon stock, Junction 12 with the 6. As described, there is plenty of items for shoplifting. There is information that a member of the staff was threatened with a knife, so I'm just going to look in the vehicle now to see if we can find any knives. Found sufficient there to believe they have been shoplifted. There's no weapon in the vehicle. Andy and the other patrols escort the suspects 45 miles back up the M6 to custody. Hello, custody. Hello, custody. We've got three from the M6 for shoplifting, I believe you are aware. Shoplifting on the M6? Well, they've driven home on the M6, but that's where we found them, yeah. Yeah, come in, join the queue. Think, oh, how long's the queue? How long is a piece of string? What do you know? Won't be this side at 7 o'clock. Oh, you're joking. There's three, there's three cars coming straight in, just so you know. Is an exceptional long day. What time? We're booked on at seven. It's ten past nine at night now, and we still got to drive back, de kit, and get home. We've got to see the good lady, and it's time to go to bed. We just do it all again tomorrow. It's actually quite a good vantage point here. It never ceases to amaze me how many vehicles and what types of vehicles travel up and down this stretch of the motorway every day. This motorway is arguably one of the busiest roads in Europe. It's an entire mobile community from potentially all over the world going to somewhere else. There's a house, just goes to show. Community on the move, literally. Today, Inspector Anton Sullivan's home is the M6, and he's on the lookout for unwelcome visitors. This van in front of me has just gone past with no number plate on the rear. He's got trade plates, but he's got them both on the front windscreen. Now, do you know why you get two plates? because one goes on the front and one goes on the back. Do you know why I've stopped you? No. You've got two number plates, one for each end, and you've got them both in the windscreen. Yeah, I wasn't aware that you... It was a legal requirement to have it on the back and the front. I thought, you, you know, you didn't have the monkey bone. You put them in the front. Yourself. Okay, so let's have this as an argument. You, you have a minor incident or a collision, and we need to identify your vehicle. How are we going to do that? If I don't have it on the back, I understand that. Definitely. Yeah. If this is your job, you need to be doing it properly. It, yeah. The, the, these come, these trade plates come with responsibility. It allows you to drive all sorts of vehicles that run tax and unregistered. But the only way we can identify these vehicles if there was an incident is by the trade plate. 
So what's going to happen is you're going to be reported for the offence of driving a vehicle without a rear registration mark. Okay, so that's going to be a fine. I don't understand why you'd want to find me uh, when this is my well, bread and butter. I mean, you, you can you, see... If it's your bread and butter, it's your, responsi it's your responsibility, your responsibility, isn't it? With, with, the, with the climate today and the increase, <laughs> the increase in everything. So we've had increase in oil prices, we've increased in fuel increase, in rent increase, in absolutely everything. Now you're going to find me for an absolutely common misdemeanor mistake. I it's haven't been in the job longer than one year, not even six months. Just right. This is still a learning curve for me. Who's the one who's breaking the law here? Not I me. Yeah, you should do. I know how? Is there a book somewhere? Yeah. Can you give it to me? Can it's the law. Book? You look it up. Listen, <laughs> look it up on the internet. On the internet. Yeah, and you go to the government dot website, and it says about registration vehicles. Okay. I will do that tonight if you let me up fine because I, I, I can't afford it. No, I really can't. Th this isn't a negotiation. Yeah. The fact you're arguing with me means I'm not getting the point to you. No, it is quite across. It is your at the very beginning. It is your responsibility yeah. to make sure this vehicle's legal to be on the road. Got any paperwork? Uh, like, what do you want to prove? Like, Who owns it? Or is it just have you got have you got anything? Has it? I don't know because well, I've only got those two registration plates. Every day we have people committing this same offence. So a lot of people do it. Doesn't mean that it's right to find me. <laughs> what do you want, mate? What, what do you want? Sorry. Some documentation relating to this vehicle so that I can work out. What if it's stolen or not? All right, the delivery address. I can't give you that. No, no, no. It's just so I can see it. That's okay. all. I'm not going to steal your phone. I don't know that. I don't know you. I've just met you for the first time. I'm a police officer. Then I don't wear a uniform. I've automatically got to think you're, you know, some upstanding, yeah, noble person. I don't. That doesn't make a difference. Yeah, what you're wearing. I suggest we just leave the conversation there because it's quite I'm insulting. Police, I don't trust you. So, you're a police officer. I've given you the advice. I appreciate you're not happy about it. Unfortunately, I'm just here enforcing the law, and this offence happens all the time. If I was to give a warning to everybody I stopped, I'd, 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 I'd well, yeah, it is. All right. Well, we'll have to just agree to disagree on this. All right. Just mind how you go, please. Thank you. that about I don't know that he hasn't been warned 27 times previously it's your responsibility to know how to do your job properly so he's just annoyed he's got caught out Got the high vis on one side, and all my coverty stuff on the other side. PC Chris Swash loves nothing better than a bit of law and order. There is order to the madness. Method. There is method to the. What's the saying? It's quite difficult at times, to be fair, trying yeah. to find the stuff in there because the covert stuff is that well hidden you can't even see it. <laughs> right, let's go and catch some bad guys. On the M53, Chris isn't happy with this driver's loose load. Just stop at this flatbed in front because he's got a very, very insecure load on the back of his car. Some people think they've got a strap over the, a ladder. They think that's secure, but look at everything on the back of that. It's hang it. <laughs> daft, 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 daft. The reason I'm stopping you, mate, is if you want to jump out, is your insecure load on the back of this van. You can't drive around with that like that. Just so you know, I'm going to have to give you a ticket for that. It's not endorsable, so you don't get points, but it is a £100 fine. But yeah, I'll show you. Obviously, that's secure. But look at all that down there. You've got your wooden planks. You can't see a number plate for a start as well. That isn't safe at all. And the fact that this is open, that comes off and goes through my windscreen. 
what I'd like you to do is if there's any way you can get the back up now. Yeah. See, it's a bit of a recipe for disaster. Really. Everything is insecure on the back. He's got half scaffolding boards, scaffolding brackets, scaffolding pipes, just waiting to fall off the back. A bit of a dodgy load on my way back to the yard. First time and hopefully the last time we have stopped by the police. <laughs> Get yourself off, mate. Cheers. Probably you're going to climb in that way as well. Saves getting slammed, doesn't it? Nice one. Take it easy getting back, mate. Okay. It's like I said earlier on, one strap over the back of your van doesn't secure your load. He's a decent lad. He'll get the message and hopefully tell his mates as well. Hi, it's Ambulance. Can we inform you of a two-vehicle RTC, please? We've got a call for possibly two patients. One patient is trapped. I have informed fire service. The one that's trapped in the vehicle has a head injury and is in and out of consciousness. We've got any RCU that can start making a grade one RTC likely going to be life-threatening or life-changing. We've got reports of a two vehicle RTC in Lynn and at the moment one of the chaps involved he's trapped in the vehicle in and out of consciousness with a head injury. Given that it's a head injury and he's in and out of consciousness we'll give our support if we can. They've got to be thinking about is it a crime scene, are they under the influence, are they driving a stolen car. Just an update from the scene, the Peugeot has approached the traffic light, gone red, and he's come head on through the Vauxhall insignia. So we think the chap has potentially gone through a red light. Drivers who run red lights run big risks. Oh, that was a naughty one. Whether it's a last minute dash or a blatant disregard of the rules. Idiot. Huh? What an idiot. These motorists are a danger to themselves. Oh my God. And the lives of others. Away. Back in Cheshire, PC Chris Swash is racing to a two-vehicle head-on smash at a busy junction. Where they are, they're on busy parts of the network. Traffic-wise, it's going to be chaos. And it's also rush hour. One of the vehicles has gone through a red light and has gone head-on with another vehicle. So worst case now is we have a fatality, or a double fatality. In 2021, over 1.65 million new cars were sold in the UK, with over 5,000 models to choose from. But when it comes to the standard of driving on Britain's roads, it's not always down to the make of the car. It's often about the person driving it. Unfortunately, the highest rated cars can't guarantee a five-star performance behind the wheel. Sometimes the most popular vehicles are driven by some very unpopular drivers. Really? Really One of the vehicles has gone through a red light and has gone head on with another vehicle. It's rush hour in Cheshire, and PC Chris Swash is blue lighting to a serious road traffic collision. So, 
worst case now is we have a fatality or a double fatality. lights when they're on red. The driver who ran the red light is trapped inside his car. Which one's done the red light? This one. So lad that's trapped, we believe, has come through a red light and has gone head on with this vehicle. He's currently getting cut out. Yeah, put it over here. Watch your footing. Do you want me to do the breath test and stuff with the driver this one? Yeah, for you, mate. Driver of the Vauxhall. Breath That's test dog bike. Is he? One of them ambulance? Yeah. I'll go and get all that sorted. While the red light runner is rescued, Chris checks in on the driver that was crashed into. You're right, mate. Well, because you've been involved in a bump. Have they drug wiped you? No, no. We've got to do a drug wipe as well, mate. Is that right? I'm going to stick your tongue right out for us and I'll do me, mate. So what's happened then? Just in your words. Someone's come across to overtake traffic in my lane and hit me head on. So he was on your side of the road coming towards you? So then the airbags went off, uh, smashed my face off the airbags, um, and that was it really. And I just forced myself out of the car, obviously in shock. So it's uniform, 5 -1. The urge drug wipe, it's negative. I've got no suspicion he's unfair. He's fine, he's good, but he's in shock. The trapped driver has now been cut out of his Peugeot. Hotel Sierra 23. Just confirming the driver of the Peugeot. Has he got DL at the minute? Yeah, he has got a full licence. I'm not sure how, because he's got 14 current points. He's not previously been banned. He's off the Salford Royal. They're a little bit concerned about him he's been in out of consciousness, he's got some back injuries, and you think he's got some pelvis damage. Neither vehicle's drivable, unfortunately, but we have the keys from both. 17-4. 17-4. don't know why it's me crawling around with these, I'm the sergeant. <laughs> <laughs> it's fair, it's quite extensive, the damage there, isn't it? So many like misconceptions. Red means stop. Amber means stop. Green is the only light colour that means go. Don't be an amber gambler. And certainly don't go through on red because stuff like that happens. And we are very lucky there today that someone hasn't lost their life. Very lucky. For Cheshire's roads and crime unit officers, appearance is key when working with the public. A good night for me is we don't have to lock anybody up. But in Chester, Inspector Anton Sullivan is trying out a different look for the night shift. When they say I wear many hats tonight, I am literally am wearing this hat as opposed to the white one which I've got. This is my normal hat. And this is tonight's hat. Well, hat's a hat, your head never gets any fatter, it's just the middle, isn't it? which is why I've got the butties, so I won't be going to McDonald's tonight. I haven't got any excuse. I don't often get to do this, but basically I'm responsible for everything that's going on in the city centre tonight. I won't lie to you, it is a big responsibility, but that's just the nature of the job. I'm more used to the open roads and 100 miles an hour rather than the uh, congested roads and five miles an hour. Imagine what it's going to be like in six or seven yeah. hours' time. This is like the calm before the storm. Honestly, sometimes taxi drivers just roar into themselves. This taxi driver here has just done an illegal turn. So rather than driving the normal way around the city, 
he's decided he's going to take a shortcut. So that junction there, it's a left turn only. Are you okay? Well, no, no, actually, do you know why I've stopped you? No, I just played stopping. Oh, have a clue. Do you work around the city? I do, yeah. So where have you just come from? Waterkey Street, I turn right. You have yeah. to turn right there. Well, there's great big arrows saying it's left only. You've just cut across all the traffic. No, come on, you're a taxi driver, yeah, so don't play that game okay, and yeah. tell me you don't know what you're doing. <clears throat> turn right, I'll be honest. Yeah, yeah. Right. there's loads of people staggering all over the city. Nobody's expecting you to be going that way, and neither were the people driving. So, have you got passengers in the car? So, you've got a duty of care to them. Not only that, but if I report you to the licensing authority for pulling stunts like that... Yeah, I'll be in trouble with them as well. Yeah, you'll be in trouble with them. So. Look, if I see you pulling a stunt like that again, there's going to be a consequence. Do you understand that? Yeah, appreciate that. We might get you back south. All right. He's embarrassed enough. I didn't see the point in giving him a ticket for that. It's just I love the way they, they say, do you know I've stopped you? Uh, no. That, just told me, well, I get, I turn right hand. Oh, you're not allowed to do that? And he's a local taxi driver. We've got a patrol that's going to the church. Staff have got a male detained on the floor asking for assistance. Got about four security just detaining him on the floor. Alpha officer, please Yeah, zero one. I'm just around the corner. I'll go and hold the fort for them. <laughs> what have we got here then? We were helping right. him outside here. Brought him a drink. See, see what? See one of our other colleagues. All right. You were sort of for no reason. We're just here to help. We're just here to help. No. Just, but you're being dead aggressive with everybody. No. Just a bit worried about you. That's all. Yeah. But we can't let you go because you're going to have a fight with everybody and I can't... Yeah, but he, he smashed my face. Didn't right, well, I'm here now, so nobody's going to smash anybody's face, all right? Have you taken anything Not tonight? Have you had a couple of drinks? Yeah, I've How had much have you had to drink? About four or five pints. Go ahead, Mark. Have OK. Pint. All right. No, <laughs> Yeah, we're good. You think? OK. Come right, out. calm down. Just calm down, mate. Just making sure the cuffs aren't going to tighten on you. Right, fans here, should we get him up? Well, on your feet, we're just going to walk down this way. Oh, no, no, look, I don't want to have to drive down. Look at the show. That was your enemy. You just need to take a seat in the back of here for us. Yeah, I sound, I'm thinking. All right. It's not us, but what? It's red, it's red. We'll have to investigate what's gone on, so we'll get some evidence from your door staff, hopefully get some CCTV and then he'll be interviewed in the morning when he's sober. But yeah, one person causes all this grief, and, and, and it's alcohol that's probably the, at the root of this, so... Yeah, he'll spend the night in the cells, and hopefully when he sobers up in the morning, we'll be able to get some sense out of him. I was the closest patrol and I knew there were other patrols coming, but to be honest, I'm a cop at the end of the day. It doesn't matter what ranks on my shoulder, I'm a police officer and I've got a duty to go and do the right things. So it doesn't really matter whether you work in the roads or you work in the town centre, the principles of policing don't change. It never ceases to amaze me what people get up to, whether they're driving on the roads or staggering around the city centre. PC Nyaz Waddington has only been on shift six hours and he's already tired out. I did not see that in the road as we were driving because it's a pitch black section. I'm going to turn and um, come back round. There we go, there we go. My Costco 26, if it's now in lane three, I've got a blocker. 
Like Oscar 26, what's left of the tyre? It's removed off the carriageway, you can cancel the matrix board. It was a FUD. Fuddy, fuddy, fud, fud. Fud. Fud, 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 fud. Marker that's just gone last 20 minutes. People have all been attacked with red diesel in rural farms. Suspects disturbed and made off with over 200 litres. A North Wales job, Ford Transit van in blue. Mike Oscar 28, um, I'm going to plot off at 20. It's a blue Ford Transit van which has stolen 200 litres of red diesel. Good job, this it could be a red diesel job. Anybody who's committing any form of criminal offence, they've got nothing to lose, so they'll do whatever to get away. They don't care if they have contact with a police vehicle. But we are talking van, which is obviously quite a sizable vehicle in relation to the vehicles we've got. I think a patrol's behind it now. Just trying to listen in. The van's behind us, we've already behind the van. My Oscar 28, I'll go on the hard shoulder and when you're basically near enough there, just let us know and I'll pull out. Right, you to dive into the roadway, mate, coming up on you now. As daylight decreases, the dangers of driving increase. 40% of collisions happen in the hours of darkness. We find it harder to judge distances. We struggle to spot hazards. Hey, yeah, yeah, look at this, man. In the road. And just end up getting ourselves in a spin. Yours. Absolute nutcase. I'll go on the hard shoulder. And when you're near enough there, just let us know and I'll pull out. PC Nyaz Waddington is trying to stop a van that is suspected of stealing 200 litres of diesel. Nice, you just dived into the roadway. It is, mate. He's coming up on you now. Yeah, received. He's directly behind you now. vehicle is lane 2, speed is 5 zero. We're in the lane for the 56. Yeah. As soon as we go around the bend, we'll look at point on. Mike Oscar 26, I've lit it up. I've now got a near side indication which is now cancelled. Um, at this point, um, I am declaring a pursuit. The vehicle is failing to stop. Suspects that fail to stop can be extremely dangerous. <laughs> Following a failed cash machine robbery, four men lead police on a chase through three counties, reaching speeds in excess of 140 miles per hour on the M42. Officers from Warwickshire, West Midlands and Staffordshire Police all attempt to stop the stolen red Audi. The travel so fast even the police helicopter is working hard to catch up. Yeah, five drivers, we're struggling to keep up with it as well. Uh, we haven't got much fuel either. We're trying to keep with it as best we can. 
The men abandon the car in a residential area, but are eventually captured. Packing job, I'm route for a cup of tea. All four were convicted of conspiracy to steal. Two were given three-year jail sentences. The other two were also convicted of conspiracy to commit robbery and aggravated vehicle taking. They were sentenced to 11 and 12 years in prison. Speed is 4-0. Back on the M56, PC Nyas Waddington is in pursuit of a van suspected of being involved in the theft of diesel. Mark post nine over zero. Two eight, we have got a box on the vehicle. Vehicle is stopped, stand by. Driver detained. Back here, lads. Right, okay. oh, right, do you want to just step out for us? I'm just going to put handcuffs on you just while you're on the motorway. Just being detained for purposes of a search of you in this vehicle because we believe it's been used in relation to crime. We'll get it off the network, mate. We'll just take the next available slip so it can release the block. Just to say, Mark, I've never with the block on you can release it. That vehicle has been involved in the theft of red diesel in North Wales. Then you'll see a drum of diesel down my chair. Right, that's done. My Oscar 28, there's nothing in the rear of this vehicle. It's got nothing. Yeah, yeah, the vehicle is empty. Look, spanners in here, yeah? There's a pump in the back. It's like a little ratchet pump or something. Yeah. Which is what the siphoning was. It has been used, it's got stuff in. Right, at this moment in time, you're under arrest on suspicion of theft of fuel, OK? You don't have to say anything, but may harm your fancy up, may you question something which you later align on court. At this moment in time, you, you, you're agitated, OK? Because I'm sat in the back of a police car. I understand that, cuffed, right, but, up, but like, yeah. I don't want to wind you up for anything bad to happen. He's provisional only. He is wanted for burglary in Sheffield. And he's also got a recall to prison. Okay. At this moment in time, you're obviously shown as being wanted for burglary in Sheffield, okay, and also for prison licence recall. What burglary? What burglary? Well, like commercial? Burglary. In Sheffield. Commercial? I don't know. Obviously, she's in your van because you're a provisional licence holder, and obviously, you won't be insured to drive it. Okay, get your feet in, mate. The van's going to get recovered because the driver hasn't got a full license. So it's a keep van? The van will be going, yeah. So how am I going to get home? Well, <laughs> fortunately, it's not our issue, is it? going back to serve the remainder of his sentence. So overall, good job. I love night shifts. A really good shifts to work. Plus when I finish, I go on to a warm bed when the wife is getting out of bed. So, winner, winner, chicken dinner. If you have any dash cam clips you think could feature in the next series of Motorway Cops, Catching Britain's Speeders, Send them along with your contact details to contact us at purpleproductions.co.uk. Our motorway cops is back at the usual time next Monday at 8. Unbeaten Brighton man Harlem Eubank faces the former champion Tom Farrell in the Big Fight Live Friday at 9. Next up, the beds are completely full and the red phone won't stop ringing. It's new casualty 24-7, every second counts. Thank you.